and that's how my mother met my my father was it in order to the, that their daughters could meet some Jewish guys and it was successful because all all three daughters um, uh, married Jewish men in Port Elizabeth and uh, I became I grew up in Johannesburg that's another story because of allergies and I, be, uh, and I became a physician and ophthalmologist. I'm now retired. Did they have uh, uh, Hebrew schools, Yiddish schools in uh, where you grew up? Yes, yes. We grew up in the south of Johannesburg, which was very, we, we were mainly a mining population. It was, it, it was a poor area, so it was tough. There wasn't a big Jewish congregation, but they, they were active and we uh, had, we were a mitzvah and we, uh, and the, uh, we had a very good clergy who were very dedicated and loved us and left a lasting impression. Reverend Kaplan was our, the main rabbi. He was a, we called him Reverend because he didn't have smicha. And he, um, uh, he just loved us. It was very good to us. And his two sons became physicians and came to the United States and I ended up in California. And eventually he retired and went there. But I once got into an argument with a, 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 a Pakistani Muslim who I met at the gym. And then he started sending me stuff which was really controversial. And I said to him, Reverend Kaplan didn't teach us hate. He told us the Arabs were our, our cousins and we got to learn to live with it. This was 1950 after the, the war. Wow. And we had to get on with it, learn how to get on with the Palestinians. He says, they, we have to learn to live with them. And, uh, and he told us, um, uh, he just taught, uh, taught us all positive things. He didn't teach, I said to this Muslim man, he didn't teach us hatred. Because he was showing me stuff teaching hatred of the Jews. I said, he didn't teach us hatred. He taught us how, that we got to get on together and care for each other, not hatred. And yeah. Um, but he was a very wise man. Um, and, and you're married? I'm married. I have my wife, Brenda, is here. She's listening in the background. She doesn't um, want to bring her into the picture. Let's say hello to, to Brenda. She'll come. She'll come. Um, my, my son Ezra is a PhD in sociology and he lives in Israel and he does Jewish, Jewish sociology and he does some work here in the United States. Uh, he gets jobs even at this time. Does he speak uh, Yiddish? No. Oh. And my, my two daughters uh, 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 live uh, in, in Scarsdale and Harrison, which is across the Trogsdeck Bridge. It's about 35 minutes from here. And they have four children and two children, respectively, and my son in Israel has four children. Well, I hope you learn a little bit of Yiddish, and I hope you uh, maybe uh, pick up a, a little story, and you can share it with us by reading one line in, in, he, in, in Yiddish and one line in English. We're going we're gonna to work on that. Where uh, I'm going to ask uh, each of you for our next session, to uh, pick out a either a song, a Yiddish song, uh, practice it, send the words with the translation uh, to us so that we could show it on the screen. And you're going to lead us in whatever song you choose in Yiddish. Uh, and we'd also like you to uh, uh, whether it's a story about you growing up, a funny story, a not so funny story. Uh, it, it could be one paragraph, two paragraphs. I've shared a couple where you will share it in Yiddish, uh, one, one line in Yiddish, translated in English. And I think we'll all learn more about each other and we'll all learn a little bit more Yiddish that way by actually using it so joe joe let me let me interrupt you for a second so so uh federica put uh, a note out on the chat i don't know if everybody's looking at the chat if have you you guys all see the chat i saw some of it well, let, let me just read it okay this is bonnie and federica from chicago we are watching from a rehab hospital in chicago bonnie speaks yiddish her parents came to the u.s around 1920 as young people from russia and poland 
they met and married in Milwaukee. Bonnie had 50 first cousins, all living within a, flu, a, flu, a few blocks of one another in Milwaukee. Lots of Yiddish spoken within the family. I, Federica, am Bonnie's daughter. I understand, but do not speak Yiddish. My father was a child immigrant from Austria in 1941. His family did not speak Yiddish. Well, welcome. All right, Joe. Welcome, Federica. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Where where are you? Which rehab facility in Chicago? I think they 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 are, they have a sound issue, Joe. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. So, is there anyone that would like to share a little Misa in Yiddish? It's just a little joke, it's, it's, uh, but it's really not a joke. It's a Jewish reality. You know how Jewish telegrams are. They're very different than others. It says, start warring, details later. Say, it. we missed that, Shirley, one more time. Jewish telegrams. It says, start warring, yes. details later. Hmm? Oh, they must hear. Thank you. They can hear. They just don't get no sound. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Julian, you raised your hand. What's going on? Let's un let's unmute Julian. Hold on. We're gonna unmute you. Wait. Okay. okay. There you go. Ich ich red mit uh, mit all alle Menschen und mit Nati. Ich komme auch von Südafrika. Ich habe ge geblieben in Cape Town. Und in Cape Town was, da, da, was, ähm, hat geblieben eine Familie Koppelowitz. Zwei Brüder in Cape Town. So Julian, you were kind of you're, you're from Cape Town also. My yeah. wife my wife was from Cape Town and I was from Johannesburg. In South Africa that was a mixed marriage. Yeah, I ich, ich, ich was ge geboren in Brackpan. Ah, mein, mein Zeider uh, hat dort geblieben mit sein zweiter Wife. Ah, in Brackpan? In Brackpan. Ich Reverend was Moffson. Was? Reverend Moffson was the, the rabbi, Reverend Moffson. Reverend Moffson is in Cape Brackpan? Mofsen or Mofsas? Mofs, Mofsen. Mof. Yes. Ich, ich, ich hab, ich was, ich hab geblieben in Brackpan. Ich, ich hab gekannt Rabbi Mofsen. A sehr, yeah. ein edler, edler Mann. Ja, yeah. sein Sohn, uh, Sam Mofsen, ist ein a, a Doktor. Und er hat in, 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 in Breitnick, Long Island, echt geblieben. Gebla, Und, um, uh, Sam hat uh, uh, weggestorben, uh, uh, vor Jahr zurück, und uh, 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 the vibe, uh, uh, what is uh, her name again? Uh, uh, she bleibt in Manhattan now. Uh -huh. And, uh, uh, but the uh, Tara Fab Familia. Mir bist uh, Litvax, du in Litvax. Lit lit bist Litvax. <laughs> Gut <Okay>. Menschen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Was meint a Litvax? <laughs> was meint das? So, so Joe, Joe. So geht's, was das meint. Mir, mir, mir hab ich es, als, als, als du kommst von Litvax. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth, what did they say? <laughs> they what they said they have yichus because they're lit box, but I'm sorry, I'm a Galiziana. I can totally not agree with this. Uh, you better, uh, Ruth, you have you have to tell them that in Yiddish. <laughs> hey Joe, hey Joe. Yes. In the upper left hand corner of the the frames where are people raising their hands. So like Sandy and Mort are raising I don't, their hands. I don't have that. You don't have that? I guess I just have that. Okay. So so, so Sandy and Mort. So let's see honor in um sign in um um Besserin von D Litvox. Oh. <laughs> 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 
was, was sagst du von den Jäckers? Oh, that's, das ist ein anderer Meister. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ganz anderer Meister. <laughs> All right, Mike, t tell us who needs to be recognized. Okay, so Sandy and Ward, I'm going to call on them now. I'm, I'm unmuting them. Right here. Oh. Can you, I think, can you unmute your, uh, your there sound? You go. I, I got it. I got it. Good. The only reason I, I raised my hand was to clarify that the ostrich is not kosher. And ah, interesting. Uh, Bavus is uh, not kosher. Uh, it's kosher. My tata is a shaker. Ah. His father was a person. I thought it was a person who 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 was who else has their hand up? Hey, Edie. Ich have a Tochter in Cape Town. Oh. Is the boy dort jetzt? Yeah. Yeah. In was machst du dort? In was sagen die Arbeit? Was ist ihr Name? Salkus. Heidi Salkus. Brenda? Um, we're based in Amin, uh, Norman Salkus. That's, that's the, the father, that's our Mokhotainen. Ah. His son is our son-in-law. They don't have much of a difference. Isn't that amazing? When this game is in the night, you can talk with Bernie, yeah? Uh, what, uh, well, I forget Bernie's name, a uh, couple of Brenda's husband. I forget your name. Nate, Nate. Nate, I'm so sorry. Nate, Nate. Do you know Norman Salkis, Brenda? Edie, Edie, I've written with with uh, Nate uh, in when they ended. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. When it comes to South African Jewish geography, yes, you always find connections somehow. That's amazing. Absolutely, that is amazing. At its peak, the South African Jewish population was 120,000. Right. And after starting with um, uh, Sharpeville in 1960 or so, uh, and then of course, after the Soweto riots, all these things made people leave. And today the population probably is 40,000 or less. I think 80,000. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Joe, uh, Elaine's got her hand up. Oh, okay. I cannot say this in Yiddish. Oh, come on. <laughs> I, I, it's not there. I don't have that vocabulary. Not yet. <laughs> but um, our friends from South Africa, did anybody ever know a family by the last name of Godden? My grandfather, whose last name was Gordon, emigrated to the United States, but his brother ended up being Godden and he ended up in Cape Town. Brenda, did you know that family? No. Okay. How long did they when, when did they emigrate? Oh my gosh. I have Mike, Mike has his hand up. Mike it Laser. must have been in 1914 around there. there. But they're still there. Wow. Mike Glazer. Go ahead. You got to unmute yourself, Mike. I get to shoot to Allah. Letzte Woche sie gewesen a sehr scheine, sehr große, echte Mal Sach für Schule der Menschen. Echte Mal a Junge in Schule, der hat gespielt Baseball in the Major Leagues. Dean Kramer, sein Name und Tat ist eine Schule der Kette. Er geboren geworden in California. Mike, Mike, stop one second, please. Go back now and translate that in English, and then please continue. Well, he doesn't speak English. He only speaks. He only speaks Yiddish. Isn't that right, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, 
Joe, I'll f hey Joe, let me finish. Joe, don't over direct me. Let me finish in Yiddish and I'll come back, okay? Okay. That was okay. all good. Thank you. You're over directing us. So, uh, this is Erk a spiel for the Baltimore Orioles. Eshtemul, a yink from Israel, spieled in the major leagues. And it was spieled in the New York Yankees. And it was given it. Eshtemul. Seven innings, one hit, one run. Uh was spielt noch einmal, a two takes später, nicht as I get. Well, this is a goise zach, a goise zach for uh, Israeli spieler. Last week, uh, a great a great thing happened, at least I believe it's a great thing, a uh, momentous historic thing, an Israeli baseball player for the first time played in the U.S. Major Leagues. His name is Dean Kramer. His parents are both uh, Israeli natives who were in the U.S. when he was born, so he holds dual citizenship. And he was a last-minute call-up for the Baltimore Orioles to pitch against the Yankees. And he was fantastic. He pitched seven innings, one hit, one run, and they won. It hooked on Hans Banden with the Mugen David. He wears a neck chain with, so you can imagine. He played again a week later there in New York against the Yankees again, and uh, it was a no decision game. I thought you'd like to know that. Thank you. Yeah, it's really interesting. I did not know any of that, no. Huh. Very nice. Your Yiddish is very good, Michael. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Anyone else have their hand up? Okay. So, so Joe, Joe, you know, we, we had talked about sharing expressions used when you misbehaved or Yiddish nicknames or terms of endearment that our parents used. So that was something that we talked about a couple of weeks ago that we'd like to do. Would you like to, would you like to add that to the agenda tonight? Absolutely. So, could, I, could I make, let's see, no. Could I make a suggestion? Go ahead, Tova. Okay. Since this is a Yiddish club, theoretically, and it's wonderful to hear these stories, some people speak more, better than, than others. I'd like to make a suggestion that we take a phrase that everybody will agree and we learn it so that next week, in other words, some people here would like to have their Yiddish improved, but if we don't, language, as you know, has to be repeated. So if somebody chooses a phrase, let's say, Hob Yontif, you probably know it all. Everybody knows that. But choose something, Ich bin geboren in America or Ich bin geboren in South America, something. So that next time, the people who are participate have learned some phrase that they didn't know before. And if we do it enough, we will come out of these sessions knowing a little bit more than we came in besides each other's history, which are very interesting anyhow. But if everybody does their own stuff, the other person will not learn it. Do, do you know what I mean? I yeah. just thought it'd be a great nice- idea. It's a great idea. So you, you come up with, a, with an expression that you like, or we can all come, come each week with an expression and we can either write it down and then in about four or five weeks, we can have five or six, seven expressions that we didn't have before. Okay. Good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, thank you. Ruth? That's true, Ruth. Okay, well, I mean, if you wanted to do um, expressions that uh, my parents told me when I misbehaved, these are expressions, and we can all learn how my mother yelled at me. I mean, that would be... <laughs> I've, I've got a list of six of them here. Let's, let's hear them, Ruth. Okay, so uh, there's... Uh, now some of they're they're kind of Galicianer, so so that you you may be saying them different. So vustistu, you know, you get into trouble. Vustistu, okay. What are you doing? 
Okay, so you can all learn that. Bush do it. <laughs> okay. Um, the, when she really got aggravated, Bush will do fun mein Leben. Okay, what do you want from my right. life? Okay. Well, you have to pick your hands up like that. Right, Bush. Right. Bush, Bush. <laughs> right. That this one everybody knows. Hak mir nit kein Scheinik. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> then just frustration in general, she would look at the ceiling and say, Gott in Himmel, okay? <laughs> and, and then if you're like underfoot, it would be Gea Vec. And then if the volume got too loud between my brother and I, it would be Shrinished. <laughs> and we can learn all those expressions. <laughs> Jo Jo okay. uh, Esther, Esther has been raising her hand. We, we, we can write them down. I mean, of course, I know them, but those who don't right. know, they're okay. They're not, right. they're not terrible. They're not scholarly. And, no, and then I have another list of uh, terms of endearment, but I guess that's going to well, be a let's, separate. Let's, let's let others talk, okay? Absolutely. Where's, where's Esther? Uh, Esther has her hand up, and then, and, and then Rosie next, okay? Okay. Esther, go ahead. Yeah, uh, my nomen is Esther, and I've been a kind of kind. My mama uh, would, my mama sh would schrei coin, coin. And um, this is the nomen she had given me, coin. And I have gekauft a very kleine, golden coin. Um, uh, from my uh, bronzelet. From what? Oh, bronzelet. Right, bracelet. 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 Oh. So well, she called you. My, oh, mother, my, my oh. name's Esther, but in a term of endearment that my mother called me starting from my youth was Crown. That's right. That's and, oh, oh Crown. They called me Crown. And well, so, um, a queen. just, just <laughs> a recently, you know, Esther. yeah, I was just thinking of it recently, and I, I bought a little um, gold crown and hooked it up to my bracelet. Oh, so. That's nice. That's beautiful. Roz? My grandmother from Brooklyn used to look at me and she'd say, if you were my daughter, I would give you a real zetz and a tuchus. <laughs> <laughs> I ran. <laughs> what did you do to earn that? Nothing. I was an angel. I <laughs> <laughs> so 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 anyway, I don't I don't know Yiddish very well, but I heard it. You know, I was that was the secret language that everybody spoke. But I can remember that that they always used to when I when I'd get angry or they'd get angry at me, they'd say Hawks a cop of aunt. That's right. Well, which means yeah. yeah. Hit your head against the wall. Yeah. Right. Hit your head, yeah. Uh, yeah was, it's like that was their term of endearment, just even if I was frustrated, right? Surely. Surely. You uh, the worst that. thing that my mother would say was a schwarze cholera of, oh, yeah. you know, oh. black cholera. And yeah. 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 My mom would say a kleine cholera. Oh, she was much nicer than my mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or if my I bugged her, it's geikak noch Oh, oh yeah, or the feast. wait a second. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. I haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, my father Ra used Ra my father used to come home and, and he would look at me and he'd say, "So was machst du schöne Ah, yeah, that was nice. Raz, Raz, unmute yourself. Why well, you're muted, Raz? Unmute yourself. It's me. It's my mother. Uh, I hear y'all talking, so I'm going to say something too. I was, I kept it in, but how about Kakamoon? Oh yeah, yeah, Kakamoon. That's right. When there's a full moon out here on Sullivan's Island, I get out there and I say, "Look, a Kakamoon dog." <laughs> Anna, did you have something? It felt, it felt, it felt redness of the beta. The, the Galiciana and the Litwaten. Uh, I will sagen beide that the Yiden do in Charleston is go coming from that they they go vain Pelusha or Russia Yiden, okay? And they had gemacht Heusig from the Litwaken and the Galiciana. 
Do you know what Khoisek means? No. Yes, make right. fun of. Right, right. Make fun of. Yeah. Right, but not in a nice way, though. Make yeah. what? What is it, Toba? Gemach Khoisek from the Litvakin and the, and the Galiziana. There weren't that said, many here. But as soon as they found out there was a Galiziana or a, or a Litvak, so they made they made Khoisek. I made fun. I, th I think that this is a very nice expression to learn because it can, you know, Machoizik means um, make fun of, but in a right. nice way, not right. in a, a, thank in you a negative very, way. Thank you, Dal, I appreciate it. Right, that. And, and you can use it for everything. You can, uh, and it's a nice expression if we learn like one nice expression each time. Say it again, uh, uh, Listen, let me ma, ask you something. I, I have to look up, I will look up Hoizik so I can get a better, uh, understanding of where the word comes from. Right. I'll, I, I'll do some search on it, etymology, maybe Google has it, or I have a, I have a Yiddish dictionary. But Anna. if we use these, and it's a nice expression, thank you. Thank you. I, I, you know, I, don't, I don't like these horrible expressions because Yiddish is so beautiful. I love that it. Should, yeah, so do I. So we should really use it in a, in a very warm, kind way. And, I don't go into all of these curses. I've never Anna, used them. And I think you wanted to say something. How, how far do you all want to go with jokes? Oh, we can go. I want to hear from Anna first, though. Anna had her head. Oh, I have a not a No, not when you say <laughs> off color. Are there nothing, any yakis from what, Germany? What is it, Anna? I'm sorry. Are there anybody with a, a anyone here that's a yeke from Germany background? <laughs> no? So whenever... Well, I was born in Germany. Well, that doesn't count. Okay. <laughs> uh, whenever whenever uh, somebody was very uh, precise and, and didn't bend the rules, in my family, he was a Yeke Potts. <laughs> <laughs> you see, these are words that I'm... That's I'm a about. expression, actually. I don't use those words. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, don't. I do. I really don't. I, do. I really, I, I don't either. I think it, it demeans a beautiful language. Like I wouldn't use English, only those horrible words that we could use. Four right. letter words, right? Like we see on television. I, I don't think it's right. It's not, it's, I would never use that. But it's, it's not off color, but it's something like what you said, to get a, a phrase and to uh, come back and say something. But there's a cute little joke about that, that a teacher, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll just give you a, a, a little bit of it. Uh, it. That Jewish Yiddish is not dead. Everybody thinks Yiddish is dead, but it's not. In Brooklyn, they have a Yiddish school there and the teacher is teaching the kids Yiddish. And how he teaches it, he says, I want you to go home and just like you said, and come back tomorrow with a, I'm gonna give you a phrase. And the phrase is Daksachmir. It seems to me. Daksachmir. Okay. Did you yeah. ever hear that joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah Daksachmir. Huh? Yeah. No. No, well, it, uh, but, but it's so funny. And, and I don't know, Rosie, I don't know if you'll let me say it really. No. And she's not gonna let me say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny as the cutest thing, I swear it is. When we all get oh, together talent. and sit on the porch and have drinks and happy hours, she can say it. All right, I'll give you another. Why, why don't you say it? Why don't you say no. it? She won't let me. She, she beats me, you know. Now you have to. Julian, <laughs> 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 you're next. We'll get how, about the, how about this little one? I'm gonna give you this little one. The mama hot gewaint by nach. The tata hot if gestana. This is about a little girl talking, okay? The mama hot gewaint banat. The papa hot if gestana. Er hot ihr a kind gebracht. Ich weiß nicht von wana. That's really cute. Why don't you translate it? That's very nice. <laughs> did you like that? Like she liked it. What's her name? I like her. <laughs> Julian, did you want to say something? Yeah. Me zucked a feel many times. Me zucked in, in America, you are welcome. Weist, weist du was in, das is in Yiddish? 
You are welcome. To favos. Ni 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 to favos. Yeah. Ni to favos. Ni to favos. Ni to favos. Ni to favos. You are welcome. It's nothing, right? It's like oh, it's nothing. Okay. Spanish. Nada or something like that. Mike, Mike, Mike is next. Mike, Lake Mike. Uh, if I can go back, feel guide trick. Let's the move. I want to go back the last time, and uh, some of the ladies were talking about making you filter fish, which I personally think is uh, terrible to try and make you filter fish. The whole process. My mother did not make you filter fish ever. She baked white fish in jelly and carrots. And it was the people would stand in line. I don't know, Mike and Shirley, have you ever had the the whole fish, white fish? No. I don't know if anyone else, but uh, the tradition uh, of gefilte fish was not with us. It was the, her baked white fish. And was course, that in her whole family? Did that, or just just your mother? I'm sorry. Was was that part of her whole family background, or was it just your mother? That I think it was. Uh, I, I'm not sure. There weren't. Uh, as, as I told you the first time, there are zip relatives who survived uh, out of the camps on both sides, except uh -huh. for one, one aunt. I'm not sure which it was uh, historical. The other thing is, they, uh, as most of you are aware, most, many survivors chose not to speak much. They either became Elie Wiesel or they never talked about it. And there was no in between. So I'm not sure, but it's something that she did. And um, it was the, she was known for it. It was a hit. We did try to make, so uh, we've compromised. So now when we serve, we serve manashegets, we filter fish, gold. <laughs> manashegets, <laughs> gold. So our children grew up on manashegets, gold. So we don't, uh, I just, I just wanted to reflect on that, listening to the stories about making you filter fish. A few times we tried, it's, it's, not, it's not a pleasant thing to grind the fish. So. Anyway, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry all of you did not weren't there to taste my mother's wonderful uh, baked jelly. I, I, I probably food. had it sometime. Surely and I probably had it, but I don't remember. Probably. So so probably. so Sandy and Mort, you had your hand up. Unmute yourself. Yeah, the only thing that occurred to me is we were talking. Uh, as a child, I was imbued very seriously with never using any foul words. And uh, my grandmother uh, was, uh, became sicker and sicker. She was seriously diabetic. And occasionally my mother would walk me as a child to accompany her at my grandmother's apartment and she would do cooking for her. My grandmother would sit in the corner and give instructions to my mother without any recipes, it's all out of her head. And so she would stand and say, hit the rind of this old pepper, hit the rind of this old pepper, okay. on and on and on. <laughs> so then on the way home, I said to my mother, I said, where is it that my grandmother gets to swear and I can't? <laughs> <laughs> Surely, I think you've got your hand up. Uh, you felt a fish story. Anna, our friend from uh, Cincinnati, and Lily, and Reggie, I believe, would make you felt a fish from scratch uh, for the high holidays or Passover. It doesn't matter. Both. Both. And I would always call, uh, threaten to call City Hall and uh, announce a uh, pollution alert. I hated the smell of gefilte fish. But uh, to go back to uh, Tova, Choizek, Machen Choizek, it comes from, uh, and uh, Edie, Zemechozek, uh, Nachon? Yeah, Machoizek. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I so that's where you get the expression, Machen Choizek, and it's the Hebrew uh, derivative. So. Yeah, yeah. And that's make fun of. To make to make fun gently. Okay. Okay. Joe, oh, you want to do your thing? So I, I, I asked you to think about songs and I'm going to, uh, 
Uh, Mike's going to put one up on the screen. I'll, I will lead you softly. You guys can all join me because I believe this is a song you all know. And it's both in uh, uh, the Yiddish with the English underneath it. Does everybody see that? Yeah. yeah. And this is called A Yiddish Mama. And if you oh, allow yeah. me, I will start. And all of any of you, all of you, if you want to unmute and join. I don't know. And we'll sing it softly and slowly so we can all. No, but you can sing. Where, where, where is the Yiddish? <laughs> It's transliterated. <laughs> it's, 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 right, it's in English, yeah. It's, it's, in, it's in English, it's not written. So everybody in, on yeah, English, so you yeah. can sing along. Like your okay, Bible, I, it's transliterated. Okay. <laughs> we don't have the last line, Mike. I can't read this. Okay, I'll, I, I'll just listen to you. Mike, we don't have the last line. I'm not sure why. But everybody knows it. It's a little bigger there. That's okay. How's that? It, it's still not visible, but it's just mama mine. That's all. So I will, if we're all ready, I will start us. Oi, It's an Yiddish poem. Yiddish was the secret code, therefore I don't verstehe. Abyssalia may be here and there, the rest has gone to waste. Sadly, when I hear it now, I only get the gist. My bubba spoke it beautifully, but me, I am tzemished. So oi vai, or I, or I should say, or even oi vai zmir. Though my pisk is lacking Yiddish, it's familiar to my ear. <laughs> I am no Haim Yankel. In fact, I was a shtick naches. But when it comes to Yiddish, though, I'm talking out of my tuches. <laughs> this is a shanda for the kinder that I don't know it better, though it's really nicht gefällig when one needs to write a letter. But when it comes to characters, there is really no contention. No other linguist can compete with honorable mention. Mention? Mention. Yeah. mention. They have nebishes and nebeles, and others without muzzle. Then two schmendricks and schlemiels. <laughs> Let's not forget schlemazel. These words are so precise and descriptive to the listener, so much better than a pill, is it, to, uh, is it called someone a farbissener? 
-hmm. or that a brazen woman would be better called cholera, and mm -hmm. you'll agree for Klemtz as more than does hysteria. I am not Hakenden Chining, and I hope I am not a Kvetch, but isn't Mishkeit kinder than to call someone a wretch? Mitten drinnen, I hear Bube say, it's nechtike tuk, don't fear. To me, you are still a maven. Zol sein sha, don't fill my ear. Eleven echten kapel, on the kapel, I don't mean to interrupt, but you are speaking narishkate and a gesund of, of thine cup. That is cute. I did this, so I should have read it before. But anyway. Good, you good. wrote it? Very good. Good oh, very good, very good, very good, very good. Do you, do you, uh, do you all know uh, the distinction between the formazo and the flamil? Yes. yes, yes. What is that? A formazo will buy a suit with two pair of pants and one coat, <laughs> and, then he, and then he'd burn a, a cigarette in the coat. <laughs> No, I, 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 apparently you don't know uh, the uh, difference. Uh, the Shlomil is the one who spills the soup. Oh, the Shlomazo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, we're so getting, we're coming down to the, to the end of our visit. How about anyone yeah. ever heard of the Chappen the Ria? Chappen Yes. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Repeat. Oh, Tell me what I said. <laughs> what, did, what did you chap? you say? No, the no Chappen the Ria. No? Ria, Ria is something like a... The devil. The devil. The devil. The devil, yeah. devil. right. Well, the, the devil, devil should devil catch, you. catch you. Yeah. Oh. I would have my father uh, um, shelt. He would shelter Earth. somebody else. So the no happened to here. Oh. I, and I didn't ask him what he meant. <laughs> Does anybody, would anybody be able to translate for me and explain the expression to help as they were taking bunkers? Okay. Yeah, we all know. We all we did know. That last week. Yeah. Yes, they want to translate. Yeah. We did that last week. Right. Yeah, we, were, yeah, we, we yeah. had a whole big discussion on Bankus last last time. Oh, oh I missed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, actually, actually, in the note that we sent out, there was a you know Michael Phelps had Bankus. He was right. Bankus. That's no, right. We sent that out. That was in the email. Yeah. That was in the email. And by the way, in terms of the email, I, I added something that somebody sent me in this last one, which was the Yiddish course that's offered at the University of Texas. And I think that it might, might have been on uh, 60 Minutes or something a few years back. But anyway, the, the link to it was very interesting seeing and it wasn't just Jewish people. It was uh, really a cross section of people from all over the world. Chinese and yeah. Oh, I think. Very yeah. interesting. So um, someone has their hand up. Yeah, I do. Uh, yes. um, I, wa I wanted to okay. say something. You're talking about the filter fish in South Africa, I remember. That, that, that when you went to Kiddush on, after Shul on Shabbos, they always served the hot herring with, um, with kefil. And kefil is like a, a big taco chip. Much you put the you, you you herring on back, <laughs> and it, it was that you looked forward to having it. And um, so the, it became referred to as a, a herring aid. A herring aid? <laughs> 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 That's fine. Herring aid. <laughs> so Sandy and Mort, if you want to know what bankas are, who wants to stay on a little bit later and explain bankas to uh, Mort? Sure. Sure. We'll stay on. All yeah. right. Thank you. Thank so, you. I need an education. All right. You need to, so stay on. Don't don't say goodbye when other people are leaving. Okay. okay. I want to thank, thank everybody. Uh, Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Happy we'll Healthy New Year. Year. Weeks in one day. Bye, Charlie. Oh, oh and wait. We talked wait about a minute. expressions. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get you on Tiff.
A good a good a good a a good a good a good a Better one than the last one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be better than this year. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Good night, everyone. Good night. Everybody, a shine them up. Thank you. Good Thank you. Good Thank you. Good Thank you. Good. Bye, Shirley. Bye. We're going to talk about Somebody's going to talk about bunk. Did anybody get bunkus? I did. Yeah, Anna and I, we know that. Uh, bunkers were, they heated a, a glass, they, they put alcohol on the rim, and then they would put it on your back, and it would suck out all the bad humors, you know, and uh, that was, you know, here in America, people took an aspirin, and Israel is with the bunkers, you know. So when you say it's going to help right. like for a dead person, it means they're not going to do anything. But bunkers have come back in style now. It's holistic now. So they're doing it here well, in the United that's States. What Michael felt. Sure. Yeah. Anna, you want to say something? No, I had it done to me, didn't you, Shirley? No, children didn't have it done. I, in Poland, they did it when you had a cold. They, so when they put, they put a fire inside like a shot glass. It kind of looks like a shot glass. So it burns out the air. When they put it on your body, it just sucks. So you get like a suck mark. You get a blue mark. Yeah. And but I think it brings the blood towards the surface. Especially and that's, the blood. That's how it works. It's called cupping in English. That's right, cupping. And uh, uh, it used to help, I think. You know, it's the, the but you had like blue marks all over your back. You were red. I remember. Well, Michael, red Michael, Michael, Michael That's felt like somebody would hit you blue. Yeah, my uh, uh, somebody would come in and do it at, at right home. you know and i remember my dad and mother had it done but i don't remember children I for me yeah they used to it wasn't a big deal yeah so you were uh, the mazel <laughs> <laughs> i i have a question um if you if you heat a glass the glass gets hot were they putting you didn't hot heat glass, the glass. What? what they did is they had 100 percent 100 proof percent alcohol spirit and and they would put the thing and light it when you put it in a cup it it burns out all the air it creates vacuum when you have a vacuum in the glass and you stick it on your body it sucks like right. like when you were a kid and a, you know you, right. you get it's, it's, you know, it's, it's the same it's the same thing like when you want to can something you know you heat it you heat it up and then when right. it cools down it, it sucks empty, it, it, it creates vacuum and when you put it on your body it sticks it sucks it up so if it stays for like 20 minutes half an hour it creates a blue mark a suction so you get all these black marks all over you it okay. it helped really it made like people with pneumonia yeah my everybody all, all our neighbors used to be cupped <laughs> well, look in the email. Look at the email that we sent out because it's got the link to what Michael Phelps. Right. Uh, and and the article also pointed out too that there is a placebo effect. So I think a lot of times it worked because um, you thought it did. So. Uh, yeah, I, I don't that. like to. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to hear the word. Little kids please. would think placebo. Little kids, but they did it to little kids too. I was a kid. Mm. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, we, we, we don't like the word placebo because Shirley and I took the, uh, we're taking the COVID test, the COVID <laughs> vaccine. And we don't, they don't tell us if we're getting the placebo or the real thing. So, ah. so we just hope that it's the real thing. Good luck. We wanted to talk to people. Federico, you want to try? You have to unmute yourself. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the good explanation. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I did. I did get another note from Federica. 
they're in St. Joseph's Hospital. She's recovering from a fractured ankle. That's her mom. Oh. And she, she wishes us a happy, healthy new year. Hope we will be home next time to see you then. And we will then have better sound. Shana Nacht. Shana Agitana. 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 Yeah, Shana Agitana. Yeah, Yeah, Shana Agitana. Yeah, Shana Agitana. Yeah, Bye. Good night. Shana Tova Lekula. Shana Tova Lila Tova. Shana Tova.